Hi, my name is Brian Ridgway. I'm the founder of Level 5 Mentoring based here in Kona, Hawaii. And over the last several weeks of our mentoring program, one question has come up again and again and again. And that boils down to the idea of addictions. And it can be chemical addictions, emotional addictions, relationship addictions, really irrelevant. Uh, from the level 5 paradigm and because this is such a widespread question I decided to just make this short video to assist those that I can with a little bit of a, a kind of a free tip a little bit of free insight that comes out of the level 5 paradigm and it is my intention that, that, that this will assist you and help you to get a little bit of clarity and perhaps even to get free of any and all addictions right here and now but that's up to you okay so here's the bottom line in the number one selling personal development and business development book of the last several decades, Seven Habits of Highly Effective People, written by the amazing and brilliant Dr. Stephen Covey, he points out that if you want to make small incremental changes in your life, whether it be a relationships, finance, doesn't matter, that you work on your policies, you work on your practices, you work on your procedures, but if you want to make a massive quantum leap forward on any topic, you do so by changing your paradigm. Of course, your paradigm is the way that you view the world. So, the, the summary of all of your unconscious beliefs, including a belief that you are a being that can be addicted, is the only problem available to us. Now, I know that may be a little bit far out to some of you, so let me break it down a little bit further. You know, when I heard Dr. Covey say that, it fascinated me. In fact, that book changed my life. But I noticed that after telling us that the most important thing we could do is to change our paradigm, I noticed that he didn't tell me how to change my paradigm. Not only that, he didn't give me a picture of the ideal paradigm that I could approach life from. So I spent the next 15 years working on that. I invested over $150,000, thousands of hours, sometimes over 100 hours per week, pursuing self-improvement, uh, personal development, law of attraction, awakening, all this type of stuff. And what ended up happening over the course of those years was I left every one of my addictions behind except one. And then over the next few years I was helping people one after another to get free. And I had a series of insights that led me to understand the paradigms that are predominant today in religion, in society, in business coaching, in sales training, and in the vast majority of psychotherapy and other approaches to eliminating addictions and getting ourselves clear. And I noticed that at the core of all four paradigms there was this, this one fundamental idea that I call the toxic lie of personal development. And that is that we're screwed up in the first place. Well in the level five paradigm we look at it a little bit differently. And what I do is I assist people who are ready for it to re awaken to who they actually are so I'm talking to you who you really are and you may be ready for that and you may be not but that's up to you okay so what I help people to do is to reawaken to who they really are and when they do the stuff inside that can be addicted the stuff inside that's like velcro to get attached to alcohol or relationships or any type of drugs or anything else it dissolves and there's nothing else to stick to so I'm not able to walk you in this short video to walk you through several, you know, advanced processes, but here's what I can tell you, okay? Here's what, and I can start with just a couple of questions, in fact. Who do you believe you really are? Are you a, a limited, finite, trapped entity that's at the mercy of external things? Do you, do you truly believe that on the most fundamental level? Or is that just programming that you adopted? If you were to shift your vision of yourself to recognize that you have unlimited power available to you right here and now, could anything stick to you? Believe it or not, that one question that you just answered holds the key. And the fact that you had the heart and the courage to ask it along with me and to actually contemplate it for a moment will unravel for you over the next hours and days and I want you to just watch what happens as you approach that topic of addiction again. I want you to notice, wait a minute, if someone has infinite power available to them from moment to moment, is it possible that anything else could make me addicted? Of course not. The addiction isn't in the substance, no matter what we've been programmed with. 
the addiction is inside of us or it's not. Now, I had the experience of releasing everything inside of me that could ever be addicted to anything. And my life became an instant, amazing, unraveling miracle. And I assist people to experience the same. I've got a lot of free videos. You're either seeing this on YouTube or one of our websites. I have a ton of free videos and I invite you to just dig through the free information and find what works for you. If it doesn't re resonate with you, that's fine as well. If it does, dig in and I promise you, you'll find some things that will be very beneficial to you. Thank you very much for letting me share with you for these few moments and I look forward to communicating with you in the future. Namaste.